What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Tonight we are going to play something a little bit different on Roblox. We can say it'll be a little bit of a Friday Night Fright. I'll see you there. So, tonight we are going to be playing a game on Roblox called Talon Pokephobia. I have no idea if that's how you actually pronounce that word. I don't even know if it's a real word. Or if it was just made up for this game. But apparently it's supposed to mean fear of corn. Um, and I've never played it before. But from what I understand in the game. You basically are running around a maze. A corn maze. With a giant corn chasing you. So let's see how this goes. And yes it's, it's supposed to be horror. So it looks like, okay, I can run. The whole thing's gonna be in first person. It looks like I've got a, a health bar in the corner there. What does that say? Howdy there, I'm Cornelius. Can you make it through my maze? Is that on that outlet? That's weird. So I wonder, oh, okay, that's not health, that's, Stamina bar. I can only run for so long, and it looks like when it gets past certain points, you can't uh, regain anymore. So, I'm assuming there has to be an exit somewhere. Uh, finding it, that's going to be the tricky part. Oh no, it looks like my stamina is going back up, just very slowly. I wonder when this Cornelius is going to pop up. It's quiet. Too quiet. Makes me... Oh, you hear that? It's probably Cornelius. We'll just have to make sure not to run into him. To try to find an exit. Oh, dead end. Uh, I wish there was some other sounds at least. With it being just that, I don't even know what that noise is. It almost sounds like a ventilation system running. Maybe even a little bit of wind behind it. Just wish there was a little bit more, like crickets or the occasional crow cawing. And you think about it, when it comes to horror, I mean, that just proves how important sound is. Yeah, you can have some scary sights and some jump scares. But there's just something about certain sounds or the lack thereof that really brings out the scare you know something here and there making you wonder where it's coming from what's making that sound but then you've got a game like this where there's barely any sound at all. Leaving you in suspense when something is going to happen. Because you know it's coming. Especially if you know beforehand that it's technically going to be horror. You know something's going to happen. You just don't know when. And you don't know what. What? 
I know eventually we'll run into Cornelius. I don't know what happens when we do. I mean, is this the type of game where we can see him from afar and we see him chasing us? Or is it just kind of thing where he just kind of pops at? No! Are you serious? I went in a giant circle. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go back this way. That stinks. All right, so it is a ventilation system running. I don't know why there's ventilation in the corn stalks. The harvest has begun. Oh, geez. Here we go. Is he going to know where I am? I don't even know where I am. And my mouse super sensitive. I feel like I need to put the sensitivity down. <laughs> what? Okay. Um Let's try that one more time. <laughs> oh, man. So you can't... So in this game, you physically just cannot be close to him. Because there is no way you can outrun him. There is no way. Alright, so last time we went this way. And then this way. And that's when... Go this way. I don't know if maybe the direction really matters or not, or maybe it's just the time. Maybe you know he, it gives you five minutes to walk around, and then and then the harvest starts. I don't know if it was location based or what, but. Man, it's, you just can't. Pretty sure this is where I died. <laughs> or at least pretty close to it. When I was searching for this game, it give, gave me the option to search for a multiplayer version. I wonder how that would be may actually make it a little bit easier because if he's chasing people other people may distract him from coming after me I mean, there's just no way I can get away from him. I mean, I used all my stamina. And I was staying away from him when I was running. But once you stop, then it's pretty much over. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to make it to the end. I don't know. Well, I guess we're just going to try to find out. All right. Well, let's try another phobia game that I had seen. Um, let's see if it's any good. I don't remember. I think that's how you spell it. Yes, I think this one's it. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's it. So, apparently, whatever that word is, uh, once again, I, I can't, uh, can't pronounce it, means the fear of infinity. So, it's supposed to be similar to what they call the back rooms, which is just a giant maze. 
<laughs> and you just walk around, and I guess you try to find stuff. I, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. What are we doing here? I could join someone's room. Let's just do a random one, I guess. Let's do this one. This one is. Oh, uh, it's full. Uh, let's see. Three out of four people. Let's see if they start it. Beginner friendly. That's good. Will they ever start? Maybe not. Alright, so let's try. And if we can't do that, I may just try our own room. Eh. Okay, those are locked. Maybe this one will start. Okay, maybe you have to have a certain amount of levels. Let's just uh, create our own room. Let's see what happens. Gonna go in solo. May take a couple of seconds. Here we go. Kind of creepy looking. So yeah, this is basic. Polaroid Studios presents. This game contains strong images, scary scenes, and flashing lights. Okay. Holy. Uh, uh, I had, uh, there's a door. To the right of Camera me, and I rolling. literally thought that's what it was coming Action. from. All right, cut, cut. That was good. That was good, guys. Uh, yeah, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle and we're done, all right? Yeah. Okay, how much? Uh, a little more. <coughs> and here we are in the back rooms. Hello? Is anybody there? Crouch. Toggle flashlight. Whistle. Lean. Sprint. Jump. Use camera. Okay. Usually in other versions of the Backrooms game, there are monsters and stuff that will chase you. Um, and I played some versions where you can collect. Yeah, see, there's a monster there. Kind of look like a. Shoo, that light scared me. Kind of look like a Enderman from Minecraft. Man, that breathing sound when running, that kind of adds to the suspense. Hello? Anyone there? Now, I don't know for sure if there is an end game to this. Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on? I guess I can only run for so long. Do not have infinite running all at once. But I don't feel comfortable just walking. <laughs> this, uh, this game is too crazy to just be walking around. Hello? Is that me? I guess that's my character. Falling out. I guess I have to 
running spurts. So yeah, you can easily get lost in this game. Because everything looks the same. It's the same wallpaper. So you can't get through there. Is that a monster? Or is that just a mark on the wall? No, that's a monster, I'm pretty sure. Let's go check him out. <laughs> we'll uh, take a little peek. Because we can lean. We'll steal a little peek at the monster. If I can figure out how to get to where he is. Probably this way. Holy crap! <laughs> oh man! Why did it have to do that? I knew it was there. <laughs> oh man, that bell gave me a heart attack. I'm too old for this kind of stuff. Woo! Jeez. I've always been a big fan of the horror genre. But I think I may be getting too old for this. <laughs> Is my chest supposed to hurt? So I wonder if that monster that I saw that, you know, scared me with the zzz sound. <laughs> If you have to... Oh, whoa. Okay. There it was again. So, I guess it just randomly pops out. It's not just in one spot. I know there's that other monster that was walking around. I wonder what those arrows are for. I mean, I don't know if I really trust trust the arrows I didn't press the whistle button I feel like see this is another thing about this game I feel like I've been here but it's very possible that I haven't because everything just looks the same what's that it's just an opening I thought it might be like a doorway or something It's a flashlight. I know the flashlight wasn't on. I have a feeling something's going to pop out soon. Something's going to pop out soon. Hello. Where's the exit? See, this is why I don't... Oh, there's a vent. Or something. Yeah, it was probably the next level, I guess. Wait, what? This is not the exit. Where am I? I guess there's a long way to go. Just on my flashlight? Yeah, okay. Looks like a... Some electrical pipes, some water pipes. Something's clung in the pipes. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of options of places to go. Looks like there's a door there. Monster? Ooh. 
Ooh, I heard some kind of growling. Does that do anything? Can I do anything with that? A or D to rotate. What does that do? Oh, the water makes everything all blurry. I, I'm, I don't know what that does. I don't know if it's supposed to do something or what. What is that? Some kind of... Oh. Another valve. Is that an exit? Uh, it's a monster. It looks like that monster that popped up before. Okay. I don't want to be seen by it. What the heck is that? go some kind of starfish with an alien symbiote or something a venomized starfish <laughs> yeah 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 I hear you I hear you man this is like the worst flashlight in the history of flashlights I'm just gonna, what is that? A simulation core? What does that even mean? Huh. Let's go, let's run, let's run. Don't want it to catch us. Can we go into that vent or something? No, doesn't look like it. Is it still coming after us? Oh man, yeah, it's close. I didn't think it was that fast. Maybe it just wants to be our friend. Maybe it needs our help as much as we need it's help. Is that another valve over there? I know he's somewhere over there. Yeah, that's him. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, why aren't I going? Ah! Oh, I got stuck, or maybe he grabbed me. <laughs> you are dead. Do you wish to respond? Oh, you have lives. Well, that was pretty fun. I'm, uh, I'll have to go back and play that. Uh, I'd like to see what it's like to play with people. That'd be fun. That was a pretty fun little couple of rounds of games. One running away from a giant killer corn, and then the other game running through a maze from a alien symbiote starfish and some other thing that pops up and gives me chest pain. <laughs> but I, I'm, I want to see what some of the other levels are. I would love to see what it's like to play with other people to see if there's any kind of element as far as teamwork goes and just figuring out stuff. I, I think that would be cool. So hopefully we can be able to do that in the future and see that. Uh, but uh, if you want to see that too, 
comment down below. We'll see if we can get something figured out to get that kind of video done. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and press that notification bell so you can find out when more videos are coming up. And until then, I'll be seeing you.